It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. So here's the thing, guys. We were talking earlier about just this busy season and drinking from a fire hose. And it's as fast as you can possibly intake stuff and get stuff sorted out and get stuff done. And how the hell do you prioritize it all? We had, we had, you know, for many of us, we have some seasonal dips, especially in the winter. Things slow down around the holidays. The farther north you are, the more of that dip you get. And, and it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a blessing and a curse, right? If you're farther south, you just keep working. You don't really get any downtime, which is great because your revenue keeps flowing. The downside is you don't have time. And, and Dave Kaminsky, who's on the show a lot, and he has a window cleaning business down in Arizona and one in Denver, he doesn't get that downtime. So there's not like a clear breaking point to start working on projects, whether it's training stuff or systems or whatever the case is. And then you still have busier times of the year, but, but obviously there's always something going on where it makes it hard to take on a project. So here's, here's like some ground rules we have in our business. Now, when I say our business, we have different businesses. So let me clarify. So like window cleaning in Minneapolis is, is probably the extreme type of business we have where we have defined periods where we should work on stuff and where we shouldn't work on stuff. Like it's okay to have time periods where it's just like, nope, like we're not touching that until then. So for us, I'll say mid-March, probably even beginning of March, like we're just definitely not going to like start anything new because we know what's coming, right? But mid-March, usually stuff starts happening. And pretty much through July 4th, nothing is going to get our attention besides marketing, recruiting, and cleaning stuff. We, it's, it's purely execution. We're not looking at new projects. We're not implementing new systems. At most, we'd like tweak a process or a system. We wouldn't change anything. Andy, Andy just chimed in. So Andy's my business partner in our Minneapolis business. He said 80% of the profit and about 20% of the days. And it's totally right. We have May and June, we make a good amount of money. In October, November, we make a good amount of money. And most of that money gets taken by our slow months. So we have to make it all in about four to five cumulative months worth of time. We have some break-even months in there. Um, but but super seasonal, which just says like because of that. In those busy months, and if you're like us and you've got super busy months, and like Anthony said, it's just balls to the walls for him. He's down down in Arkansas, so he's farther south. But when it's balls to the walls like that, the only thing that you should be focused on is bringing revenue in and getting it executed. Now, if you're bringing it in and it's not like producing money, then immediately right raise your prices. I'd say cut your pay, but we all know that's not a real option today. So it just means raise your prices. If, if when you bring money in, there's not enough left over to when the job gets done to pay for the rest of your stuff. Um, you either got to go get more work or raise the price on the work you have, or probably a little bit of both. Um, but, but right now, May 11th, when I'm recording this, if you're hearing this message, don't worry about all the processes you have that, you know, suck, just go execute and make money until things slow down. Don't think about changing your phone system. Don't think about changing your CRM. Don't think about changing your training processes. Don't think about changing the gear that your guys wear. Don't think about ordering new shirts. If, if your customer's not going to pay you more for it tomorrow, now is not the time. Right? It has to pay for itself by tomorrow or now is not the time. Because you've got so many other things to work on. Right now... That only thing you should be working on is doing the thing that your client is going to pay you for, the thing that's going to make you the money.